Well, I'm Zach Helmberger, and uh, my wife Nicole Duke and I uh, had a Earthship built in 2004, and that's where we're at right now, out here at the uh, Greater World Subdivision. Uh, the Greater World Subdivision is 13 miles northwest of Taos, New Mexico, and um, it's a 650-acre subdivision. They're planning about 130 Earthships, and we're probably like number 55 or 60 or something like that. I think I got about. They probably got, probably got about 75 Earthships out here. So all, all the homes are Earthships. There's no water lines, no power lines, no gas lines, no sewer lines, any, any of that stuff. And uh, um, and you're not even allowed to drill your own private well on your lot. Uh, I think we have a visitor. So you called me because the place is, in the winter it's too humid when you get a lot of heat going, correct? Oh yeah, I mean you got, uh, you know, the sun's low in the sky, you know, it rises up there, goes like that, you know, and it comes down over here and it's just blasting in all the way. I mean, you, you'll have sun all the way back to, yeah, to about here or so. Mm -hmm. And so these bricks are, you know, almost hot to walk on. Right. Wow. Uh, so you can see here, this wow. is the main problem. He's got all these plants all along the south face here. Uh, in the gray water planter here, this is our integrated gray water planter um, where all the you know, water from the sink and the sh uh, shower and the vanity uh, drains into, into this uh, system here all along the entire south face of the house. And when the, when the sun strikes a leaf, it starts pumping water into the air and, um, and that gets you, you know, this unbelievable humidity. And meanwhile, so you got 85 degrees Fahrenheit and 85, or, you know, 80 percent relative humidity if you have everything closed up. I mean, it's just tropical. Um, and then when the sun starts to go down in the window, you know, it's just massive condensation on the windows, uh, condensation on you know just about anything, any kind of surface. Basically, we're going to depressurize the house. We're basically putting a big fan in the door here, okay. and that's going to suck the air out of the house, blowing air out here, and this dog's going to really love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so what it's doing is it's exaggerating the process of what happens during the seasons, uh, heating and cooling, and you, what we do is walk around with a little smoke gun and hold it around and find where the drafts are coming in. So we depressurize and it's pulling air in from other places and that's where we get to see where the air is being replaced. Mm -hmm. We know exactly how much the, the place leaks and, and then so after you do all your air sealing and weatherization, uh, you come back and you do a test again and you can tell how much you've, you've sealed it up. What is this? Wizard stick. Make there's, a, there's a great way to do this yourself without all this expensive equipment. Yeah. You just buy one of those, I think it's $30, $35. And what you can also do is turn your dryer on, you know, seal up the whole house like it's going to be in the, in the winter, mm -hmm. and turn your dryer on, no heat, just so that the blowing, basically that's depressurizing the house a little bit. Any fans that you have on, turn those on. Bathroom so you're basically fans. depressurizing the house. Any way that you have to depressurize the house Bathroom that's pu pushing air out. Yeah. Awesome. And then you just walk around with uh, either a piece of incense, and you can see where the drafts are coming from, or one of these is great. Mm -hmm. That's a good one right there. Right. Oh yeah. And then I fill in the hole yeah, I mean, this is with caulk. 